In this lesson, we will examine some key properties of triangles. To begin, a triangle is a polygon with three sides. The points where the sides intersect are called vertices. Here, the vertices are labeled A, B, and C. Triangles also have three interior angles, and an important feature here is that the three angles in a triangle will always add to 180 degrees. So in this particular triangle, we know that W plus X plus Y must equal 180. This means that if we know the measurements of two angles in a triangle, we can always find the third angle. So in this particular example, we know that W plus 21 plus 44 must equal 180. So we can solve for angle W by simplifying the left-hand side and then subtracting 65 from both sides to see that angle W is 115 degrees. Another important feature about triangles is that a triangle's longest side is always opposite its largest angle and a triangle's shortest side is always opposite its smallest angle. So in this triangle, it appears that angle W is the largest angle, which means the side opposite angle W will be the longest side. Conversely, angle X appears to be the smallest angle, which means this side must be the shortest side. Now this property can be summarized as follows. It says that if angle B is greater than angle A, and angle C is greater than angle B, then side B must be greater than side A, and side C must be greater than side B. Here's another important triangle property. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. Let's explore this rule by trying to create a triangle that breaks this rule. We will try to create a triangle with sides that have lengths 1, 2, and 4. Notice that if we take the lengths of 1 and 2, we can see that their sum is less than the length of the third side. Now the rule states that the sum of any two sides must be greater than the third side, so it should be impossible to create a triangle with these three lengths. Let's confirm this. First, we will take the side with length 2 and add the side with length 1. Once the two sides are in place, the last side must connect their endpoints. When we try this, we can see that the third side is too long. So let's take the two sides and open them up to increase the distance between their endpoints. Now when we add the third side, we can see that it is still too long. So let's open up the two sides again until we have maximized the distance between their endpoints. Even still, the third side is too long. So it appears that it is impossible to create a triangle with lengths 1, 2, and 4. Now let's extend this rule into something a little more useful. Let's say that we know the lengths of two sides of a triangle and we want to find the complete range of possible lengths for the third side. So if the two given lengths are 3 and 7, what is the maximum possible length of the third side and what is the minimum possible length? Well, when we apply our rule, we can see that the sum of the two given sides must be greater than the third side. In other words, the length of the third side must be less than 10. We can demonstrate this by creating a triangle using the two given sides. The third side is red and we can make this side longer by increasing the angle between the two sides. In fact, we can maximize the length of the third side by increasing the angle to 180, in which case the length of the third side is 10. Now, of course, we cannot have a triangle that has a 180 degree angle so the third side cannot have length 10. To create a true triangle, we must reduce the angle between the two given sides ever so slightly. Now, when we add the third side, we can see that its length must be less than 10, which we will denote as follows. So the length of the third side must be less than 10, which is something we concluded earlier using our rule. Okay, now that we know the maximum length of the third side must be less than 10, what is the minimum length of the third side? To find out, we will create a triangle using our given sides, and notice that when we decrease the angle between the given sides, the third side gets shorter and shorter. So to minimize the length of the third side, we must make this angle as small as possible. When we make the angle zero, we can see that the third side will have length four. However, since we cannot have a triangle with an angle of zero degrees, we need to increase the angle ever so slightly, 
which means the length of the third side will be a little bit greater than 4, which we will denote this way. Now here comes an important observation. Notice that the third side of this triangle must be greater than 7 minus 3 and less than 7 plus 3. We can generalize this result to say that the third side of any triangle will be greater than the difference between the two sides and less than the sum of the two sides. Another way to write this is as follows. Okay, to summarize, in this lesson we learned that the angles in a triangle always add to 180 degrees. The lengths of the sides correspond to their opposite angles. The sum of the lengths of any two sides must be greater than the third side. And we learned that the length of the third side must be greater than the difference between the two given sides and less than the sum of the two sides.